Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another episode of Kita News where we talk about everything otaku. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about voice actress Ishikawa Yui, or at least she's involved in this story because there are other uh, people that were involved as well. But yeah, we're going to use her because she's the big name. But for those who do not know who Ishikawa Yui is, she is a very popular voice actress in Japan. If you've never heard of her, then you've at least heard of her voice. She plays Morgan from Fate Grand Order. She plays Violet from Violet Evergarden. She also plays B2 from Near Automata. And her, probably her most known role ever, Mikasa from Attack on Titan. So this story goes back to April 2020, almost four years ago. So Ishiko Yui and anime director Tatsuki and some other anime staff members were threatened to be killed over the internet. So it wasn't really clear on why these threats were towards them but we believe it had to do with the anime kimono friends and the reason why we think that is because Tatsuki was the director of the first kimono friends and Ishikawa Yui was a voice actress she voices one of the characters in there and then of course the other anime staff members were also working for this anime so in April 2020 a voice actress filed a police report and we found out that voice actress was Ishikawa Yui and on May 2020, Tatsuki, the director, filed one as well. So in June 2020, the police arrest a man named Kishimoto Fukuta on suspicion of intimidation and forcible obstruction of business. And according to the police statement, he had been threatening anime staff members and other cast members over the internet. He was posting these threats on message boards specifically towards Tatsuki and Ishikawa Yui along with again other staff members and their families. So according to reports it looked like Kishimoto had a personal grudge towards Tatsuki and again it's not really clear on why. I assume it's because of how he directed the anime but again we don't know uh, that knowledge is not public for some reason but yeah his threat was towards Tatsuki and I, again I think he just wanted to go and threaten everyone that worked on that project. So last week, February 2nd, 2024, Kishimoto pleaded guilty and earlier today it was announced that he will be sentenced to one year in prison. I don't believe we ever saw this man's face when he got first arrested in 2020, but we did have uh, live footage from uh, a news channel in Japan which is all over the internet right now. Uh, this is him right here like honestly speaking he should probably get another two three years in prison just for that haircut alone like my god like that is a gnarly haircut those those sideburn <laughs> uh, but it's glad i'm glad to see that this guy's being locked up hopefully he reflects on his actions in prison and i do believe they should still keep uh an eye on him after they release him because you never know what might happen uh, hopefully nothing happens but yeah they definitely have to keep an eye out on him but yeah glad nobody got hurt during this incident and um yeah again stuff like this isn't new in japan uh it happens a lot uh unfortunately to idols um i mean people see voice actresses as idols too because you know they sing they model and stuff like that but uh it's usually tours you know um idols and like actresses and stuff like that so yeah, I mean, I I'm glad, again, they caught this guy before he can even do anything. I mean, even though uh, Kishimoto stated that like he had a grudge against Tatsuki, but he wasn't planning on hurting him, but you never know. Um, but again, I'm, I'm glad this guy's locked up. Hopefully, uh, again, he learns his lesson. And um, yeah, I I'm just glad, you know, Ishikawa, Tatsuki, and the other staff members in the family are safe. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below on um, if you think this guy should have got a harsher punish punishment or um, just maybe just get a new haircut. <laughs> I swear, man, that's a, cr that's a crazy haircut. <laughs> but uh, that's basically about it of the episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.